Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Sudhanshu Joshi from Doom University, Dehradun. Today we are going to talk on module Computer Systems, Communication and Storage Concepts under paper Management Information System. The module provides an introduction to Computer System, particularly Communication and Storage aspect of Computer Systems. We will discuss about Computer Systems and its communication as well storage capacities. We will also understand how business organization uses computer systems for better communication and storage. Computer systems incorporate communication among various inputs, process and output devices. Therefore, transmission of data from one computer to another computer from one device to another is performed by communication devices. A communication device therefore is an machine that assists data transmission for example modem cable ports or all communication devices communication software refers to programs that make it possible to transit data the aim of communication is to share information therefore the act of communication can be viewed as act of information sharing Intercommunication among computer systems has increased the amount of mutually shared information. Figure first illustrate communication model involving information sharing. Figure first illustrate computer communication and channels. Block A in the first before situation and blocks B after situation shows that computer 1 and computer 2 communicate with each other through a channel and the final information is the gathered form of the combination established after four squared get gathered. The figure is rather idealized since it suggests that there are always two collections of information beforehands, beforehand, and then a single shared collection of information afterwards. For example, it may be the case that some of the shared information is only generated during the course of communication. As a result of information already shared, alternatively, it may be the case that during or after communication, one computer destroys copy of information and since it is transferred its information to another. However, if for any communication it is possible for an external observer to identify the information that a computer has gained from the communication taking place. A desired feature of communication system is that the communication parties themselves can also be certain of the results of a communication. Figure 2 illustrates input process output model of a computer system where input are being processed to generate the output and is being communicated to the stakeholders using storage devices. Storage devices can also serve for the purpose of storing the input information or the output information or the information which is being communicated to the masses. Storage devices. The hardware component used to store data, instructions and information permanently are normally called as storage device. It is also called non-volatile because it contain remains safe when computer is turned off. Examples are floppy disk, zip drive, hard disk, USB drive, etc. Communication devices, the hardware component used for communication exchange, data, instruction, information with other computers are called communication devices. Let us explore the basic definition of following terms. Information. Information can be seen from either of the three perspectives. It could be the data objects that represent knowledge or belief. Information could be the knowledge or belief of agent as a part of their mental status. Information could be a communication act of one agent and may refer to any entity ranging from a person or a software component to an organization informing another agent. Computer system. The next term that we should understand is a system which should be defined as combination of hardware, input process and output, software, application softwares and system softwares and interconnected devices, system buses, etc. In very simple terms, a computer system is made up of three things. First, CPU, 
or central processing unit. It's like postal's grand central station where decisions are made and just about everything that wants to go anywhere must get routed through it at some point. Second, computers have lot of destinations for data to go and stay so it can be used later which we call as address memory. These are kind of like houses with physical addresses where piece of data live when they are not being processed by the CPU. Third, there are devices that do stuff with data instead of just storing it called input and output devices. So we can see or hear what's going on or interact with the data in some way. System bus. A system bus is kind of train track that connect the CPU, the grand central station with the computer memory which is houses of address data and with the neat device that let us interact like the mouse, keyboard, screen and audio systems. Motherboard. In early computer systems, all the data traveled across actual cables which got pretty messy. Large bundle of wires were organized using bus pass, which is where the term bus comes from. Nowadays, most of these wires are typically gold-plated traces or tiny flat wires on the computer's motherboard. A large flat surface that all the electronic stuff get mounted to. The most critical connection of any computer system is the system bus. Universal serial bus. Let us explore the definition of universal serial bus. Cables are still used in present day computer systems and particularly to connect the external devices. The common type of connection is a universal serial bus or USB which you can probably recognize. Many parallel devices such as printer and scanner use USB connection. Computer working flow. We should understand the interlinkage between input, process and output devices. Interconnection among these three units combines interaction between user, technology and processes. Figure third also illustrate computer working flow. which shows that processing is directly linked with the storage and storage could be of two categories. One is primary storage and second secondary storage. Primary storage incorporates of it could have three further categories, ROM, RAM, and EPROM, whereas secondary storage consists of DVD, HDD, USB, and flash drives. Computer bus and uses. Let us define these two terms. A computer bus transfer data between components of a computer system. In this module, we'll talk about how a system bus works, what is useful for, and what aspect it makes for a good overall performance of a computer. Users. A user is a person who uses a computer or a network service. Users generally use a system or a software product without technical expertise required to full understand it. Power user uses advanced features of program though they are not necessarily capable of computer programming and system administration. The idea of an external observer of communication it's important to understand the concepts describing in this module and subsequent chapters. To fully understand the nature of communication and the effects of communication, it is necessary to stand back and observe all parties involved in the communication. To allow communication, a channel is necessary. This connects computer together and allows flows of information to take place between the computers. We can see con how buses are facilitating CPU, memory and input. We have three kind of buses, control bus, address bus, data bus which connect CPU, memory and inputs and they act as a channel between CPU, memory and inputs and output devices. Control bus manages the information flow between components indicating whether operation is a read or write and ensure that operation happens at the right time. Whereas address bus determines the location on the memory that the processor will read data from or write data to. Data bus, it contains the content that have been read from the memory location or to be written into the memory location. 
let us understand the term communication and data communication a communication is an act of information sharing between the two computers via the channel a channel can be regarded as the component that carries out the function of computer system data communication are the exchange of data between two devices via some form of transmission media such as wire cable for data communication to occur the communication devices must be part of communication system made up of combination of hardware physical equipment and software programs characteristic of information data communication the effectiveness of data communication system depend on four fundamental characteristics namely delivery accuracy timeliness and jitter let us explain what these characteristic reflects delivery the system must deliver data to the correct destination data must be retrieved by the intended device or user and only by that device or user accuracy system must deliver the data accurately data that has been altered in transmission and left incorrect are unusable timeliness the system must deliver data in a timely manner data delivered late are useless in the case of video audio timely delivery means delivering data as they are produced in the same order that they are produced without significant delay the kind of delivery is called real time transmission next symbol is jitter jitter refers to the variation of the package arriving it is uneven delay in the delivery of audio video packages in general a channel must allow information to flow in either direction between the computers at the same time if necessary this is important if it is to be used for true sharing of information however to illustrate many points as simple as possible communication will just involve a unidirectional information flow so that always one computer is sending information to another for such communication a simpler channel can be used note that taking sharing of information rather than just transferring of information as the basic model is important that is because it is not possible to model all type of sharing in terms of two direction of transferring if there are any relationship between the two direction information flow they cannot be accounted for further the sharing model extended more naturally when more than two computers are taken into account later to achieve communication between two computers there are two fundamental issues that needed to be addressed first it is necessary to have arrangement on the types of information that is being shared second it is necessary to have implementation that allows required types of information to be shared using channels that allow different usually simpler types of information to be communicated the implementation work may not just be concerned with achieving communication but also with the achieving it as at some particular level of quality how the system bus works the system bus is a little bit more complicated than a single train track but not too much think of it as three rail per track kind of like mass transit trains use that's because each track has to carry three different things data address and control data are the actual digital piece of information that need to get somewhere or to do something the data information describes where a data is located and where it needs to go during the particular operation the control part is like instruction because data doesn't know what to do with itself so this manages the flow of address and data information that includes which direction for the transfer of information and exactly how data needs to be routed through the computer system difference between storage devices and communication devices is that storage holds data instruction information for future use for example 
Computers can store hundreds or millions of customer names and addresses. The storage holds these items permanently. A communication device is a hardware component that enables the computer to send, transmit and receive data, instructions, information to and from one or more computers or mobile devices. Storage devices storage holds data, instructions and information for future use. For example, computers can store hundreds or millions of customers' names and addresses. Storage holds these items permanently. A computer keeps data, instructions, and information on storage media. Examples of storage media are USB flash drives, hard disks, optical disk, and memory cards. Memory cards. Uh, storage device records, writes and rewrites, reads items to and from storage media. Storage devices often function as source of input because they transfer items from storage to memory. A USB flash drive is a portable storage device that is small and lightweight enough to be transported on a keychain or in a pocket. The average USB flash drive can hold above about 4 million characteristics. 4 million characters. A hard disk provides much greater storage capacity than a USB flash drive. The average hard disk can hold more than 320 million characters. Hard disk can endorse in an airtight sealed case. Although some are portable, most are housed inside the system unit. Portable hard disks are either external or removable. An external hard disk is a separate freestanding unit, whereas you insert and remove a removable hard disk from the computer or a device connected to the computer. An optical disk is a flat, round, portable metal disk with a plastic coating. CDs, DVDs, Blu ray disks are three types of optical disk. A CD can hold more than 650 million to 1 billion characters. Some DVDs can store two full length movies or 17 billion characters. Blu-ray disc can store about 46 hours of standard video or 100 billion characters. Some mobile devices such as Digital cameras use memory cards as the storage media. You can use a card reader writer to transfer stored items such as digital photos from the memory card to a computer or printer. Communication devices. A communication device is a hardware component that enables the computer to send or transmit and receive data instruction and information to and from one or more computer or mobile device. A wide used communication device is a modem. Communication occurs over cables, telephone lines, cellular radio networks, satellites and other transmission media. Some transmission media such as satellite and cellular radio networks are wireless which means they have no physical lines or wires. Memory versus storage. Let us understand the difference between memory and storage. The basic difference between memory and storage is the memory consists of electronic component that stores instructions waiting to be executed by the processor, data needed by these instructions and results of processing the data, while storage holds data, instructions and information for future use. Memory. Memory consists of electronic components that stores instruction waiting to be executed by the processor. Data needed by these instructions and the results of processing the data information memory usually consists of one or more chips or motherboard or some other circuit board in the computer. Memory stores three basic categories of items. The operating system and other system software that control or maintain the computer and its devices application programs that carry out a specific task such as word processing, data being processed by the application programs and resulting information, 
this roll up memory to store both data and program is called as a store program concept bytes in addressable memory a byte character is the basic storage unit in memory when application program instructions and data are transferred to memory from storage devices. The instruction and data exist as bytes. Each byte resides temporarily in a location in a memory that has an address. An address simply is a unique number that identifies the location of the bytes in the memory. Memory sizes. Manufacturers stated that the size of the memory and the storage devices in terms of the number of bytes the chip or device has available for storage. Recall this storage device hold data, instructions and information for future use. While most memory holds these items temporarily, a kilobyte is a equal to exactly 1024 bytes. A simplified memory and storage definitions computer users often round a kilobyte down to thousand times. For example, if a memory chip can store 100 KB, it can hold approximately 1 lakh bytes. A megabyte is equal to approximately 1 billion types. A gigabyte equals approximately 1 billion bytes. A terabytes is equal to approximately 1 trillion bytes. Difference between storage devices versus media. The difference between storage devices and the media is that the storage holds data, instruction, information for future use. For example, computers can store hundreds or millions of customers' names and addresses, while storage holds these items permanently. A computer keeps data, instructions, and information are stored in media. In other words, a storage device records, reads, or retrieves items to and from the stored media. Media storage holds data instructions and information for future use for example computers can store hundred or million of customers name and addresses storage holds these items permanently a computer keeps data instructions and information on storage media in other hands a storage device records reads or retrieves writes items to and from storage media Examples of storage media are USB flash drive, hard disk, optical disk, and memory cards. A storage device records, writes, or retrieves items to and from storage media. The storage device often function as source of input because they transfer item from storage to memory. A USB flash drive is a portable storage device that is small and lightweighted enough to be transported on a keychain or in pocket. The average USB flash drive can hold about 4 billion characters. Some mobile devices such as digital cameras use memory cards as the storage media. You can use a card reader writer to transfer stored items such as digital photographs from the memory card to a computer or printer and optical Disk is a type of storage media that consists of a flat, round, portable disk made of detail, made of metal, plastic, or lacquer. These disks usually are 4.75 inches in diameter and lesser than one twelfth of an inch thick. We can see the illustration between input and output device and how the storage devices can act as the mediator for better processing and storage devices also holds on short-term or long-term memory hold it holds short-term and long-term memories computer process data into information simulates an action or animation and among other actions replicate hand motion to draw an image what each of these actions or processes has in common is that each required some form of interaction with an operator. At least so far, operators is general human, and human needs to provide instruction, data, and other stimuli, call inputs to the computer so it can do things. To facilitate these actions, computer must provide devices that operators can use to give its inputs. 
reasonably in health. These devices are called input devices. Over the years, the most common input device has been the keyboard. However, in the past few years, it has been a dead heat between the keyboards and the mouse because virtually every computer sold has both devices. Newly hybrid devices now even combine the two, replacing the mouse with a touch pad built right into the keyboard. Printer and displays the human sense of sight is by far the sense most often used to view the computer output. Text and graphics can be permanently placed and paper by the printer or viewed temporarily into the monitor. Some outputs of the computer, some of which may not even seem like output, like the Windows desktop, do not need to print for the permanent reference, as it other needs to be printed so they can be viewed away from the computer and shared with others. Sound devices, the other common output from the personal computer is sound, whether it is simple or the beep code produced through system speakers when the computer is started up and their high fidelity sound produces from a CD-ROM or DVD. Digital system and sound are match made in the audio heaven. Let us have a discussion on various kind of memory. ROM. ROM is non-volatile. ROM chips contain permanent written data called firmware. ROM contains the programs that direct the computer to load operating system and related files when the computer is powered on. ROM chips are usually recorded when they are manufactured. PROM, programmable read-only memory chips, cannot be changed to update or revise the program inside. EPROM, erasable programmable read-only memory. Data can be erased and chips can be reused. Can be erased by shining high-intensity ultraviolet rights through the window. EPROM, electronic erasable programmable read-only memory. Memory can be washed through high voltage. From flash ROM is reprogrammable memory using normal voltage inside the PC. You can upgrade the logic capabilities by simply downloading new softwares. This saves the expenses of replacing circuits, board, and chips. Catch is small high speed memory area that is placed between the processor and the system memory. The value of the cache is that it is much faster than a normal system memory. The most frequent use instructions are kept in the cache memory so that the CPU can look in there first. Allows the CPU to run faster because it doesn't have to take time to swap instruction in and out of the main memory. Large complex programs such as the complex spreadsheets and databases programs benefit the most from the having the cache memory available. Pentium single processor generally comes from at least 512 KB of cache memory. Random access memory. RAM is primary storage, also called internal storage. Serves as a computer workplace, storing all or part of the memory program that is being executed, as well as data being used by the program. RAM provides instruction and data to the CPU. These instruction data are coded in bytes. Each byte is placed in a precise location in memory called an address. To access data or instruction in the memory, the computer references the address containing the bytes. The amount of memory available is therefore measured in bytes. DDR SDRAM is straightforward evaluated from SDR SDRAM. The biggest difference between DDR SDRAM and SDR SDRAM is that DDR reads data on both the rising and falling edge of the clock signal. So that DDR modules can transfer data twice as fast as SDR SDRAM. While DDR has limited clock speed, evolutionary change in the DDR architecture enabled DDR2 to achieve speeds beyond DDR, delivering bandwidth of 5.3 GB per second and beyond. Because DDR2 is able to operate with faster bus speed, your memory doesn't hold back the performance of your processor. Generally speaking, motherboards are built to support only one type of memory. You cannot mix or match SDRAM. DDR or DDR2 memory on the same motherboard in any system. They will not function and will not even fit in the same. Why is RAM so important? Aside from processor, the two most important factors affecting PC's performance are RAM and the hard disk capacity. Hard disks are typically huge, so the primary limiting factors is the amount of installed RAM. 
without enough RAM, the operating system must swap out storage space with the hard disk. The operating system creates a paging file called swap file to supplement RAM workspace. This is called virtual memory. Virtual memory is inherently slow. RAM speed can typically be 120,000 times faster than the hard disk so that less you must run on the virtual memory swapping file between the RAM and the hard disk, the faster your system will perform. Microprocessor is considered as the brain and the heart of the PC. One electronic circuits in control of the other. Successive generation of processor could be 80286 followed by 80386 followed by 80486 which are 32 bit interface. Plentium family P1, P2, P3, P4, 64 bit interface. Dual core technologies like having two processor. A dual core processor is a CPU with two separate cores residing on the same chip. The illustration demonstrate processing device where control unit, ALU, register and main memory are linked through buses. CPU central processing unit consists of control unit take care of the instruction thing, ALU which is taking care of the arithmetical logical processing and register for temporary memory storage, main memory for the long term storage. Buses are the communication channel between them. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. The module provides an intro introduction to computer systems, particularly communication and storage aspect of computer system. It defined computer systems and its communication and storage capabilities. We have also understood how business organization uses computer systems for better communication and storage. Thank you.